You want me to rise it up? No, you're not rising me up. What the? I know, that's why. Yeah, so that's how why. did you say you're to rise it up? Nah. Like, how crazy. As in, do you want me to start the pod? Yeah, you have to, because Hunter did that one. Okay, but I didn't mean the rise up. <laughs> yeah, whoa, well, okay. Uh, I apologize for that at the beginning, Billy. I don't mean <laughs> it's like that. But yes, we are back with another episode of the Chunks and Philly show. Now, for the audio listeners, you can't see this right now, but me and my brother are rocking those free Palestine hoodies. Free Palestine, the movement. I'm sure you, you guys have seen this all over social media. So I don't really need to get into specifics. I'm not here. I'm not, I'm not I don't, really... It, it, with all due respect, though, I don't think I've seen it as much as of recent. No, that's what I'm saying. Compared to what I've, I've had. And you just even giving me some update on numbers before the pod yeah. has let my eyes know that we're... Even, even me, because you're, you're, you're more consistent than I am, but slowing down in terms of the awareness man can still course, be raising, do you course, get what I'm saying? Of course, It's because of the fact we have short attention span, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone does. So it's kind of like, this topic is hot, quote unquote, by the way, I've got the air bubbles for the people that are listening. Uh, this topic is only hot for now. Uh, let's move on and see what else is happening. Oh, okay, this is happening, you know? But mm. um, we are still pushing that campaign forward. Free Palestine. So as free we know, Palestine, um, free Palestine, free Palestine. the Israel occupation and all of that that's happening right now is still happening. The reason that you might have not heard it as much is because of this temporary ceasefire. Um, and you know what a temporary ceasefire is, really? No, brother, educate me. So a ceasefire is a temporary suspension of fighting, a truce. So obviously- When, we're when all was this, this announced? So uh, this was actually announced, I think last week or maybe five, six days ago. Um, and they, they, they've said that they're going to do a temporary ceasefire, which means that they are going to stop for this week. And you know why? It's because it's Thanksgiving week. So obviously what I now put, I put two and two together. I said, why would you do a temporary ceasefire in this time? I think generally I could be crazy, but I think it's because everybody is at home. Everybody's home with their families, watching the TVs. And if they're now watching at, or their TVs and at home with their families and they're seeing mass destruction happen, they're going to think, Gonna open the eyes to a bit more, but because of the fact they're opening their TVs, they're putting on their TVs and they're seeing Do you reckon, that there's yeah. no war actually happening. They're gonna think, oh well, nothing's happening. So why is everyone complaining? But at the same time, I don't think it's getting as much coverage on the news than that. It would like, never like will. it should be. It never will. Because yeah, so I don't fact, even think that's the reason. It's probably something deeper that we ain't even. Well, we obviously will I never know the actual. These reason. These are just theories, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we will never know the actual reason as to why they're doing what they're doing. In my opinion, obviously, it's money. It's, it's obviously money. The fact that Gaza and Palestine are so rich in in the in the oils and all of that. So for me, it's a thing where this has been happening since 1948. Um, the numbers have actually surpassed the Nakba. So it's actually. Now, I think minimum 15,000, I think his number's up to about 20,000 people that are unaccounted for. They've they've all killed them. When we last filmed, which was... It was, 10, it was 4th of December, 4th of November we last filmed, and that was when it was 10,000 people. Now it's basically doubled. 54% um, of Palestine is actually children. Um, yeah, so this is what's That's happening so. right now. And for people that are thinking, well, what can we do? We can constantly share it, make sure that this doesn't go silent and, and everyone forgets about what's happening in Palestine because this has been happening, obviously not at this alarming rate, but it has been happening for X amount of years. But what we can do is basically just informing ourselves. Um, we can't have people that sit on the fence and say, I don't really have an opinion about this. I'm not educated on it. Therefore, I'm not going to say anything. No, you're literally as complicit as the people that are- Complicit, not, good word. Yeah, complicit with the people that are pro, not pro-Palestine. For me, it's like, go educate yourself. Um, and also go what you find out. And also what you said, uh, again, before we started the pod, is boycotting certain And that's what I was about to say. Another thing, two ways of, of actually helping would be sharing and making sure that we boycott the major brands. So it is very difficult and there are blurred lines because people go to the shop, they'll go to their local as the Tesco's <coughs> And, and purchase whatever they want to purchase. But now in their head, they're thinking, well, I don't want to support Israel. So which brands do I, um, like, you know what I mean? Avoid, avoid and which avoid brands do I, do I buy? Uh, the pro-Palestine movement are actually highlighting three key brands, which you can do research upon. Um, but one of the brands uh, actually gave free meals to the IDF soldiers. Yep. Another brand actually is suing the people that work for the brand that are pro-Palestine. And last, the last brand that they're also saying to uh, basically boycott actually pledged $2 million to Israel. So I think the reason we're only going ham for these three is because 
boycott makes a big difference. Mm. When you attack people um, and, and, and take away their earning potential where they can lose money and potentially close shops, etc., that's when they'll start to listen. I think like, it's not a morality thing anymore. There's obviously, we know that these guys struggle with that. They don't have any morals. Uh, they're killing people. A lot of people try to highlight me and my beliefs as being anti-Semitic, which is obviously not the case. Um, I said it the other day that I feel like if you are pro killing kids and you're and you're all good and well happy to see all these kids dying nonstop in these large numbers, then I'm anti you. I'm not yeah, anti Palestine. I'm not anti Israel. I'm not anti Semitic. I'm anti anyone that agrees with the killing of these kids. Um, and that's as simple as that. You know, what I mean, I've got no problem with Jewish people. I've got no problem with anybody that just lives with anyone on a day to day basis. I have a problem with people that are killing innocent, innocent kids. I understand they say they're, they're trying to target Hamas. Um, but why are people in the West Bank dying then? There's no Hamas people that actually are in the West Bank, but there's still numbers. Uh, people of number of people dying in the West Bank. There's children being arrested. There's kidnapped too. Kid, there, of course, there's 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 they're stopping water flow. They're stopping food. They're stopping. It's like so much things happening, and it's kind of like you have one goal, which is to stop Hamas, quote unquote. But you are doing everything but that. You know. Mm. <laughs> so it's kind of like I feel like there's a bigger reason, and it's all money. It's all got to do with money. So for us. If they want money, then we try to stop their money. And that's by boycotting and, um, yeah, trying to be more vocal and trying to share and let's not get quiet about this, guys, because everyone, the Western media is getting paid left, right and centre to try to make Israel the positive ones. And, yes. oh, they should protect themselves. But it's a war crime what they're doing. It's collective punishment. We all know, um, well, we should know the bare minimum, guys. Please, if you don't know much about this conflict that's been happening, um, this genocide, this ethnic cleansing, then please go and do some research. Um, it's not good to just say, well, I don't know what's happening, therefore I'm not going to have an opinion on it. Please, that's just very, very stupid in my opinion. Philly, anything you want to say, brother? Um, no. No. Oh, have we cleared everything? I think we've cleared everything. I'll be saying free Palestine. Free Palestine, free Palestine, free Palestine, free Palestine, free Palestine. And if, free if, Palestine. if, if people have problem with me saying free Palestine. Um, I don't think they do. Then I, yeah, I couldn't care less. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, protect kids man <laughs> I, oh. want, I want i want innocent civilians to be alive let that be anywhere yeah. uh, anywhere i just don't agree with any any kids being killed i think randoms but i think everyone on this channel knows you know what i mean everyone that watches us consistently w wouldn't wouldn't be surprised or or shocked at what we're saying or oh, what we're saying i've been screaming free palestine for years it's not an, a recent thing you can see on my stories i've been talking about this from when i learned about it yeah years, yeah yeah you, years, have, you know my thing i also. remember there was a charity match that you played him with Sharky yeah, and Harry. And I ran around with the Palestine yeah, flag. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. always going to do that, bro. Yeah. And not because they're Muslim. This isn't a religion thing. Yeah. This is a human thing, bro. Like you can be Christian. That, 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 but that, that's you one thing that is a little sorry, bit, you know, um, yeah. maybe I'm not, I've not seen it, but from my understanding, I feel like it's only like the Muslims getting right behind Palestine. And I think that's a bit mad considering how many Christians there are in the country too. No, but I'm also going to big up the anyone else that isn't Muslim because of the fact that the marches, we broke num we broke records. Oh like, yeah, the, yeah, that's people. crazy. I round of applause yeah, for all those think, people that have been yeah. marching. I think there was a, a million people in London or something. Yeah, that like, was crazy. There was over a million, but that was crazy. you can see they were all there and there, obviously loads of different faiths there. There were people that obviously don't have a faith. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Big up to everybody that is supporting, but I feel like we just can't slow down guys. Let's please. Don't take off let's off please, the gas. Let's please keep going, keep going, keep going. Boycott, boycott, boycott. Uh, yeah. I just want to ask you, how have you been? How's your mental health? Oh, that's a nice question. Yeah, of course, brother. I feel like enough of my friends ask me that, but my mental health is good. I get down days like anywhere, everyone else. Of course. Sometimes you get upset for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mood swings, left, right, and center that's for no reason. That's jarring, isn't it? Stays in so bed, imagine Gal on Air period. And I feel sorry, sorry, for, sorry for myself. Yeah. Imagine yeah. Gal on Air PP then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I can't like the hormones thing, innit? It must be crazy, bro. Must be crazy. Because I only learned the other day that a man's... Hormones reset like every 24 hours. A gal's one's, oh, what did you say? What is every 24 say? seconds? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but theirs be. is a little bit more, you know what I mean? Of course, of course. Takes a bit longer to deal with. So. Yeah, of course. But yeah, nice question. Thank you for asking that. How's your mental? Um, I'm actually feeling very good, man. I'm, mm, I'm enjoying wait, myself. Wait, wait, wait. What? Sure? Definitely, brother. Why well, did you take long to answer? Because like that, I'm actually though. shocked that I'm, I've been good. I've been in a good place for a long time. Usually, you know what I mean? It just kind of fluctuates, but Alhamdulillah, man. I'm in, I'm in a very good place. I can't complain. 
we thank God every day of the day of the year, man. Oh, man. Um, so yeah, I think that's good. We got that out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want to have some conversations. Yeah. So uh, you got the iPad. That, I just want to. I just want to break down uh, your favorite app so far on the pod. My favorite episode would be The Darkest Man or Harry Panera. It's out of those two. Um, guys, we also want to say thank you so much for the support. The support's no. been absolutely immense. It's been phenomenal. No, like it's, it's, it's crazy. We didn't. I think we already hit a quarter million subscribers. Uh, please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, it means a lot, man. It really helps. Whether you're listening on audio or, or or the visuals, it's really doing numbers right now, man. And we appreciate it. So, what about you? What's your favorite episode? Um, I'm gonna have to say Harry Pinero, only because that's the first time Harry's ever cried in the face of YouTube. Yeah. Um, the episode was sick in terms he of- He said it was the first time he cried in 45 years when he was 26. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you know how he's growing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I was watching this AJ video, yeah? The slip and slide. Did you watch it? Yeah. yeah. And, then it, and then it goes gone, yeah, Harry actually played in the first World Cup. <laughs> and then the clip of the first World Cup, I cried. <laughs> if you haven't watched that video, type in AJ should be with slip and slide. It's a very, very good video. Yeah. Um, where was that? But yeah, I think that's why that episode was so good because it had like every emotion layers, in it. Layers, yeah, layers, it was layers, layers man. Laughing, it just weren't we're like banter the whole time and yeah. then we cried and then we're up again. And yeah, man, I loved it. I proper, proper loved it. Um, but yeah, genuinely, Chunk said it as well. And obviously with, when Chunk speaks, he speaks for me, but I genuinely want to say thank you so much. The reaction to the pod so far has been amazing. Um, yeah, I, I didn't expect it, but I kind of did. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Obviously, because I just like to think that me and you together, we do iconic stuff. You know what I mean? But seeing it happen and seeing it unfold is a, is a is an extra special feeling. We've got some amazing guests lined up. Yesterday, we had a little text talking about some future guests that we're going to have on. Oh, yeah. Oh, crazy. Nah, serious names. You yeah, get me? Yeah, yeah. We're branching out now. US. <laughs> <laughs> we're global. <laughs> Are we not? It's too well. It's global, man. That's bro. That's why I'm here to say thank you to the people. It's global. Um, if you start hearing some random CTAs and, uh, yo, make sure you check this brand and just show us some love, man. <laughs> we're making that moolah. <laughs> So far, there's nothing coming in, man. We're just trying to be humble with it. But once man start promoting, this is just show me love. Man. Yeah, love for that. Just trying it to is sponsored by uh, yeah. Click Up Water. Yeah, yeah, just love. Just come on, guys. Just rock with it, man. You know, over here, we're just, we're real with it, man. I'm going to be honest. But talk to me, man. I want to get into some some juicy bits. What's All right, going what on? do you want to get in? What do you want to get in? No, no, but before that, man, let me just break down a couple of cool sections I got go here. On, go I, want, I, want, I want us to talk about the beautiful country of Qatar. Amazing. Um, why is Qatar so special in your opinion? Um, it's it's very tranquil. It's very, I felt incredible as I went there. Yeah. Me and Philly obviously went there for, we recorded a YouTube video on my channel, which is probably already out or coming out very soon. No, it will come out. Coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes, comes out, tomorrow. out tomorrow. So please keep your eyes peeled on that. But we basically got to enjoy the finest times in life where we had basically the finer things in life where we got to go on first class um, all on, all from Qatar, like they ended up flying us out there. We, we enjoyed a very good 24 hours. And um, yeah, but just the, the safety aspect of it, I've been there for the World Cup and they're very inviting, they're very nice people. The weather's incredible. Uh, food was good. I, I feel like generally I, I only have good things to say about yeah, Qatar. Not one bad and thing. in my head, if I ever think about leaving the UK, I would go and live there, man. Mm. I would go and live there. If it's not Saudi, if it's not Mecca Medina's. Then say I'm Saudi not. again? Saudi. Yeah, you said cold. That's how yeah. No, this is Saudi. That's how it's cold. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, if it's not the, if it's not Saudi, then it's gonna be a it's gonna be a Qatar thing, man. It's very yeah. peaceful and just hearing the Adhan, hearing the the call to prayer. You've had the call to prayer, innit? Yeah, of course. Yeah, hearing that on the main roads. Yeah, yeah. Love, would love that. What about you, Ben? Uh, Coming from someone that's not Muslim, what do you why do you why did you like it so much? It's just peace. Yeah. Like everyone's just in their own lane, like every woman's covered, respectful. Like, you know me, like there was little moments where I wanted to have a drink. Like these men are telling me, what? No drink here. You got to go to like a random hotel or something. Yeah, that yeah. one that does it, do you get what I'm saying? Um, I feel like it's the perfect place to raise your kids. Yeah. Like literally the most perfect place to raise your kids. I think they got one of the lowest crime rates, if not yeah, no crime rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very um, even an example, like we've gone into the shopping center and then our friends left the keys in his defender. Come back, keys are still there. 
Yeah, he's left the keys in his cars and come back in the store. It's crazy. No, that's crazy. Yeah. No, but it's not even the fact that he left them because we could probably get away with that. Because mm. re really and truly, who's checking every car? Mm. But it's more the fact that he felt so comfortable and confident to yeah. do that. That's what opened up to my eyes. Point, do you yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah, I was yeah. just like, wow, no, this is different. But yeah, Shout that's guitar. We had a great time. Please make sure you watch the video on Chunks' channel. Coming tomorrow. out tomorrow, baby. Yeah. If you want a chance to send us your dilemmas, then make sure you follow our Instagram. Uh, Chunks and Philly show. I'm very sure that's the act. If it's not, then I apologize. It is, it is, it is. Oh, it is, there you go. So Philly, please start it off. All right. Now, whenever you're ready though. Oh, this is a good one. Go on. My dilemma is not knowing what guy should I choose. The one that I want or the one that wants me? The one that wants you. Why though? I think- It could be a shit box. You can't be getting with a shit box. Okay, shall, okay look, shall, shall I be honest with you now, yeah? Mm. Okay, now let's just flip on to you. I don't even care about the situation okay. anymore. Would you go for someone you like more than they like you or they like you more than you like them? So if, if you don't understand what I'm saying, so look, say for example now we've got Katie and Philly, right? Do you yeah. like the name for, for, your, for your future girl? I like Beatrice. Okay, Beatrice in this hypothetical situation, she is infatuated with you. She loves you so much. Yeah. She likes you 100 out of 100. Let's say you love her 85 out of 100. Would you rather that or in reverse? Where you love Beatrice? Okay, look. Oh, this one hit home. Why am I so deep? Go man? on then, show us another one then. What are you so upset I about? I remember I've told you about a John that was like that. Yeah. You probably don't remember the name. No. But I don't know. <gasps> oh yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He said letters. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. But, Should I say her name? But, no, but ah, it's just like, why? Why? I don't like my head. You don't like it? No, of course I do. Yeah. And logically, that's the right thing to go for. Yeah. Um, whoever sent in that dilemma, what Chunks is saying, it does make sense for the person to go that wants you the most. But when I was in that position, I was just being weird. Shall I tell you what it is? I, there's a lot of people that like the chase. They like the games, the mental warfare. They like to not know if their partner is really in love with them at all times. And that's mental for me. I can't do that, bro. I want to know where I stand yeah. with my couple at all times. Yeah. And I want to know that, yes, this girl loves me and is infatuated with me because mm. I have the same feelings towards her. Yeah. I don't want to be in a limbo constantly where I'm kind of like, oh, Monday she's feeling me, but Tuesday she's she's kind of giving me sour no, energy. No, no, no. That's you, and then you, you, for me, no. you, you're gonna be like Tuesday. I have to bring my A game back. I don't want to have to constantly no, play no, games. No, no, but you you said 185. So 85 don't mean that Tuesday Monday she ain't feeling you. It just means that you feel 100 and she, you feel 85. Nah, she bro. Feels you 85. I'm not saying that. I'm saying the <coughs> fact that for me anyway, I'm gonna just say I prefer if if I if I just know that my girl really loves me and I don't ever have to question that. Mm. Man. You know what I mean? But but for, so the, the 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 answer I'm gonna give her, the solution I'm gonna give her is go for the person that loves you more because that guy will probably even treat you better. Not always, of course mm. it's not always, that's just me. But I think he's gonna know how lucky he is and he's gonna treat you like Good. the queen you are at yeah. all times compared to someone that just kind of like is comfortable. He gets comfortable. He's like, yeah, that's my girl. Like, I can do what yeah. I want. You and, know what I mean? And because, that, and because you, the other one still kind of wants you, just test the waters with this one. This one don't work, fly back to the other one. No, no, that's ridiculous. Oh, sorry, You're sorry. treating this guy wrong. This guy, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you're basically trying no, to but say, I'm saying she's giving him a good goal. Good no, chance. But he's a backup. Don't do that backup stuff to him, man. I hate that shit as well. Give him your undivided attention. Or come on, bro. All right, let's be real now. So you know, there's two girls there that like you. You've gone to see one. It didn't work with the other one. You're not gonna now go chat to the other one. No, but I'm gonna bro, give 100 to one of them. Oh yeah, yeah, but I'm not saying do like eight, I'm hundred. Yeah, but it's not. But I don't think it's possible to give 100 to two people. At the same time. No, no, no. But I'm not saying to two people at the same time. I'm just saying go. So deal what are you with, saying then? I'm saying go deal with the one that wants you, and then if that don't work, go back to you know what I mean, Kunle or whatever his name is. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. At least you got. Yeah, but two, at least make, you got two there. In, I, in I, don't, the box. I don't agree with that. I think you should just put all your eggs in one basket and go for this guy that is showing you more love than you're showing him because mm. you can grow to love this guy. I feel like you know what I mean. He's probably a good looking guy anyway. Like the fact that you're even considering it as an option. So just flipping. Go for that, man. Don't go for someone that oh, likes you-ish. This one's horrible. Go on. Let me read it. Can I not read stuff? Yeah, of course you can. I don't like that one. All right. So we've got one. It says, I've been seeing a girl for a year behind my wife's back. I think we're going to stop there. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 
<laughs> These are real life dilemmas. And I feel like baiting out this whole government. You <laughs> pussy up. Okay, so you've said, I've been seeing a, a girl for a year behind my wife's back. I'm an unfaithful idiot. I know the relationship's getting serious, but I've got two kids and she wants me to leave my wife and give it a go. I love my wife. Yes, I know it sounds stupid, but I also love this girl. What do I do? Genuinely, I, you're, an, you're an absolute arsehole. The fact that you have a wife and you've cheated on your wife is ridiculous. Go on, because um, I know what my advice would be. My advice would be to genuinely to go and just spill the beans and tell your wife what you've been doing. My flipping brother. Spill the beans. Because cheating wife, is wrong on every and level. And tell her what you've been doing and yeah. see. But I think it's, the thing is, we can even give you this option, but you're not going to do it, man. Yeah. You're not going to have the balls for it because you decided to entertain a new female yeah. and, and and even entertain the, in the, the conversation of yeah. I'm going to leave my wife for you when you have two kids as well. Yeah, because what what because remember, I come from a home that's been that was broken as well. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm not saying that you can't leave your wife. You know, you can if you are unhappy. But where you messed up is that you did that act while you was with your wife. You get me? Imagine if your kids found out, bro. Mental. No, I, 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 so I, I think, I, you, yeah, I generally think that yeah, you do should do the right thing. You know what? Tell your wife the truth. And furthermore, send us a gram and we'll tell her I'm joking now, but you, you, you get the point we're trying to make. Uh, you know, and what we're going to do for you right now, yeah. something we've never done before. Yeah. So the audio listeners, I'm sorry, again, just try to maybe watch it, but we're going to act out the scene on what you should do. Philly, do you want to be the wife or the, or the husband? I want to be the wife. Okay, cool. So I'll be the husband. Yeah. So yeah, look, I get a call. So look, yeah, yo, call me, call no. me. No, no, but we're doing this in person. Face to face. Like I've just come home. Oh shit. There we go. All right, cool. I'm just All doing right. the dishes. L Linda, bye. Babe, can you sit down? I've got something to say to you. Just give me a sec. Just do no, it. no, but honestly, I, I, I really, I, I've, I've been feeling guilty for a long time. Just sit down and let me have oh a Oh God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's all good. Uh, but I'll be honest, you know, you know, uh, the, the relationship has been very rocky recently. No, it hasn't. No, I've, it has. It has. I'm happy. I'm no, happy, Johnny. No, you, you ain't no, are you? Because every time we go to sleep, you just turn around. You don't really show me any love anymore. You know what I mean? The hugs haven't been really hugging. You know what I mean? The kisses haven't been. So obviously I've I've gone and found a new uh, a new person. And um we're, we're, Oh God. We're serious, Linda. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Linda, Johnny, no. Yeah, no, Linda, honestly, I think I knew there was something wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Your vibe's just been off for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, well I haven't got blows from you in a long time, haven't I? So uh I have to go and find something else, Linda. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> How did you meet her? On Inge. Who is she? Who are? <laughs> on Inge. What are you doing Inge. on there? <laughs> By a little boy, Bradley. <laughs> Who's going to take him to football? I've just lost my license. <laughs> Where's little boy, Bradley. It's our son. <laughs> just lost my license. <laughs> How did you lose your license, you little weirdo? <laughs> and there you have it. You can see Linda was very yeah. distressed, but... Yeah. She got to know the truth. Yeah. And, and now, in the long run, she will be... Better. And... Happier. Yes. Yeah. There you go, man. And that was just, we can do those those scenarios more for you, but that's just a, a quick example. Of Why are these all go. relationship ones? Why not like- Because we're the, the relationship gurus. This segment is called relationship guru time. How about that? It's not dilemmas anymore. Because uh, to be fair, I don't want to hear anything else apart from that. So we're going to take a short break until we find another one. <laughs> you know, run out, run out on this. <laughs> All right, guys, so Philly has actually had a little bit of the voice note already and he's laughing. He said that there's this one help. Play it, man. Let them hear it. <laughs> All right, here is the next. Uh, we've got a voice one. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So, that so we've got actually a voice one. So you guys can send in your dilemmas, whether it be a voice note or message. So please make sure you do so. Philly, play it, man. Take it away. Yes, you know. So this dilemma is a bit of a mad one. So there's this one healthy thing, you know, from my city, from my side. No, we're from long time, yeah. A bit of a lovey dovey one, lovey dovey history between us. She's had a boyfriend for the last four years. She's exited off now without, like, I didn't request it. She's exited off now, quote unquote, for me to be with me. I'm thinking, wow, because, like, during the relationship, she's texting me on the craziest shit, talking about, oh, what you could do to me right now, and oh, his wood game's not even on point. I'm thinking, Piss that off. was me, I'd be her. How is he dealing with that? So now, recent times, yeah, she's linked up with me. Bro, the boyfriend's found out somehow. He's onto me now. I'm thinking, what do I do? Do I joke out the thing, laugh in my man's face, do I spin off his jaw? What do I do? Because she's trying to make it seem like I broke up the relationship. But in reality, nah, man, your gal's moving mad. Love, though, you, man. Tell me what to do, please. 
for people that um, aren't from the UK and don't understand the word, we apologize. Yeah, uh, this is a representation of uh, of, of the UK kids slang. Yeah. So what he's basically said is, he's talked to a girl. She's in a relationship. She wants to cheat on her boyfriend for him. Yeah. And now his, her her boyfriend is basically trying to fight this guy. Yeah. What should he do? Just clock the thing. <laughs> no, no, that that's what he's saying. I'm not Whoa, saying. Oh, what no, you said. No, oh. but. <laughs> I'd say you just smash it up. <laughs> fuck it. Now I keep it like no. Nah, there's so many keep words for section. Keep it real. Keep it real. Yeah, I'd say, brother, do your thing. You get me. Vow over to the yard or get a telly. Mash it up. Put in work, sees. Cause she wants it. I think you are an absolute idiot to ever send that voice note in. The fact that you, you know what, I have got a problem with. Mm. Why are men and women going for the opposite sex for people that are in relationships? You know how much people there are in the world, but in this case it was the woman's fault, not even his. But why are you even the woman's messaging? Her? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, I you agree. Just really I agree. like she says she's in a relationship. Just cut. We're anti cheating. This Over is here. ridiculous, man. That is that is crazy for me. Yeah. I just don't understand that. That you're you're completely in the wrong for that. If he comes and meets you, you have to accept the beating. No, I'm joking. I probably wouldn't go that far out. But no, <laughs> no, no. Jokes aside, jokes aside. If you actually want a real, 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 real answer. I think you should just let her know what she's doing is very wrong. Because the way you got to look at it, yeah, obviously, uh, me instantly, I just think about virals, let me make people laugh. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But that's not the right thing to do <laughs> yeah, in hindsight, yeah, bro. Because yeah. I think to myself, like, right, if I was in that position, would I want someone to tell me how my girl's moving? Yes. But to be fair, do you know what it is? You want me to be honest? Now, mm. if I put it on the flip side, mm. regardless, the guy, the girl that, she, um, she's already cheating on her man. Yeah, but then... So he's going to want to leave her regardless, Yeah, no? but then if he now was a G, blood, and text her back and gone, are you not seeing what you're doing? Do you know how unfair it is to text me when you're in a relationship? At least have the decency to leave him. And do you believe... No, she, it's not going to happen. Yo, do you believe once, once a G or always a G? No, you know. I don't know, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. No, yeah, you are still... I'm thinking back on mandem that I know, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The man cheat, cheat. <laughs> Like the man are really like, cheating. Like, yeah, prolific. No, yeah. prolific. Harry Kane. No, Harry Kane cheaters. Harry Kane cheaters. Erling Haaland fifty quickest to fifty cheaters. No, quickest to fifties. So, hear what I'm saying then? Should you be giving this girl advice when she's gonna just if she don't cheat on this one, she's gonna cheat on the next one anyway? So, should he just rush it anyway? That's what I'm starting to think now. Yeah, whatever you do, brother, don't wife it. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Don't wife it. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't wife yeah. it. Uh, oh, and if you do know the brother on some G thing, I told the brother, bro, gal come and go from this bear gal out there, bro. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, it would be nice if you can do something nice for someone. And that would be <laughs> telling a brother, showing him the flipping messages that your his girl is sending you. That would actually be a proper G thing. I'd yeah, proper yeah, rate yeah, that, yeah, you know. But he would never do that. He's, he sounds 18, 19. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. in that phase where, yeah. car, shall I do that then, fam? Yeah. My city, my town. Like, and there's nuts. loads of words for, um. we have loads of words for sex. Let's go back to back on a couple. Mash. Clark. Kane. Ross. Washed. Touched. Poked. S slapped. R uh, hurt. Hurt is mental. Yeah. Cheated. Mash. Uh, F, the actual word. Yeah. Um, there's more. Dogs. Dogs is mental. Bro, there's loads of words. It's disgusting. Rumped. <laughs> Did I say Clark already? Might have. There's loads. Yeah. There's loads. Um, all right, last one, last dilemma. Oh, this one's quite interesting. Let me read it. Oh, sorry, bro. Which one? Whoa, there's a yeah, lot. Yeah, it's, it's linked. So, okay, cool. Let me just go through this very quick. So this is from, no, I'm not joking. I don't want to say that. <laughs> the relationship between man and their family, mother and dad, when is a blessing raised well and when is it obsessive controlling mama's boy? How much do they have a say in who and what to date or love? When is it jealousy and when is it low self-confidence? Do I leave and pursue my dreams knowing there'll be shitty times or just accept life and continue being employed with a stable salary? I'm done. You've asked for a lot of things. I'm not interested anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that one. Yeah, sorry about that one, man. Good luck, though. Um, no, genuinely, bro. No, good luck, though, is wrong. Yeah. She's asked you for help and you've just gone... Good luck. No, because babes, you can't send dissertations <laughs> and then expect me to just try to give you, a, you know what I mean? A breakdown. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a teacher. I'm not a teacher. I'm not here to do that. You know? 
But we've got another one here saying, my dad, my mom and dad separated years ago. Mm. Whenever I call my dad, he always speaks bad about her and calls her horrible things. So I don't find following my dad anymore because I feel so guilty if I don't call him. Uh, but I also feel horrible when I let him speak bad about her. I also addressed a million times that he should not talk bad about her and also had arguments with him about it. This is a, a fair point. This yeah, is very it's fair. a very good one. Um, Dad's a pagan. Yes, guaranteed. What I also I'm very interested to know, what, do your, what does your mom say about him? You know what I mean? Because for me, I think regardless now, if I'm married, uh, of course, inshallah in the future, and my wife's done me wrong X amount of times, if the youth's only like maybe 18, 19, I'm not going to really, I'll never will speak bad about his mother, bro. Because mm. in his eyes, his mom's his queen, his everything. So why would I then try to turn him against his mother? You know what I mean? It doesn't yeah. really make sense. But what I would suggest of you is to actually sit down with Pops and let him know that this isn't his wife anymore. So he can't talk bad about your mother, you mm, know? Yeah. Uh, and the fact that your loyalties lie within your mother yeah. based off now, because your name's, I can't say your actual name, but you're a Muslim. You know what I mean? So your, your loyalties lie within your mother. So you should tell your dad, yo, you can't be speaking about my mother. And like dad, this. if you're listening to this, you're Egypt, what do you gain <laughs> from telling that to your youths? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Take custody then and you look after but, them if she's so bad. But, you know same, what I mean? but in the same breath, you have to also respect your father. So it's a thing where you actually sit down and have a grown adult conversation and say, I understand you have your differences with mum. Some dads ain't like that. I hear what you're saying. We're not living in a, a fairy tale world where there's rainbows every morning. It I hear it. Like so then give me a perspective then. What, what should she do? Because me personally, I'm sitting down with my dad and say, you can't talk about my mum like this. If, if you're going to carry on doing it, then that's my mum not have a relationship. <laughs> yeah, do you think I ain't got one with my pops? Why Some people have? are just ignorant, bro. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like it does it like as much as you think in your head, oh, this is the right thing, this is how to do it. Now, not everyone thinks like us. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that sounds good, and you should definitely give that a shot. But don't be like, oh, this is gonna be it, and this is gonna work because we're now gonna sit down and have a real heart to heart. Man's had bare heart to hearts in my pots, bro. I don't chat to my dad. Mm. You know what I mean? Some people are just like arrogant, ignorant, like they just see things in their way and if it's got to be done how they want it to be done so yeah genuinely wish you all the best of luck for, with that one that one's very close to home for me okay. yeah we're gonna do one more maybe last one quickly it says my dilemma here is my mom is shagging bear man never mind I what we're gonna, we're gonna leave no this wait one. hold on hold on yeah. who's your mom what block she from <laughs> <laughs> but yes again that's the end of the dilemma section guys please next time send me some more light-hearted ones maybe like yeah, your day-to-day yeah, yeah. life because I feel like these are very... Uh... Yeah, something like an example could be a dilemma. Go um, on then. I go to work every day. And I've normally been getting ketchup on my chips. What do you think's better though? Chili mayo or ketchup? There you go. And then you, we can... Speak. You know, like something just silly. Like... Yeah, on a day to day, man. We want to have fun at the yeah. end of the day. So please send them over. And you know what? I'm going to actually ask you one. Go on. Top three sources. Condiment time. Ketchup. Nothing in this world is better than ketchup. Yeah, okay, and that's the thing I love about you, brother. Yeah. Because you have your head screwed on. Number one spot, ketchup. Heinz, thank you very much. <sighs> and Heinz, if you want to work with us, we We would love to, to work, work with you. Yeah. Give us a brand deal. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, there no, we go. I would actually be buzzing we'd to work with Heinz, you know. Yeah, we'd love a Heinz. Imagine that. Heinz tomato ketchup. You know, I've been a fan of them since 2001. Like, really a uh, big fan. That was 1996. Yeah, Fez. Come out the womb and I got ketchup in my bottle. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Number no, two? Um, I don't know this I'm is where we're going to go different. No, go on. we won't. Because if you have any logic, you would understand where I'm coming from. Chili mayo. Fair play, man. Right, I got you yeah, in no, well, I you got, got you. Me, man. <laughs> Chili mayo, right, man. You see the little orange sauce? <laughs> yeah. Chili mayo for the whale. Crazy. Absolutely. Don't even say incredible. what restaurant we like that one in. Cause we got to keep that one low Can't key for me in the dark. Can't tell us soul. Yeah. Amazing though, amazing, isn't it? Amazing, amazing. And Third. What, are you agreeing with my what, first two? That's so you got, you got to say the last one and then just pray to God. I, 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 um. Do you know what it is with me? It depends on the day. But do you want me to be honest? Garlic mayonnaise. Yeah, top. this is where what? my brethren lost his mind. <sighs> garlic mayonnaise. All right. If it's not garlic mayonnaise, it's burger sauce. Shout out to all the people from the hood. Uh, if you know, you know. Let me know if you changed up on them though, Philly. No, so right no. now, I'm saying it's a burger sauce situation what, for over, the nation. Over a barbie. Now, barbecue ain't really queuing, if you want me to be honest. Like, it's top five, but it ain't chatting to three. 
I ain't trying to garlic mayo or burger sauce. Let me know in the comments down below how much you love burger sauce. Because you no, see that no, back no, in the days no. with wings and chips? No, no, we're going back then. If I had to pick between burger sauce and garlic mayo, I'm going garlic mayo. Garlic mayo? Yeah, yeah, garlic mayo. I can't lie. Do you know what I just thought of? I thought of Lebanese grill on Old Kent Road. Without garlic mayo, I won't be alive that day. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. cannot do it. You're right, still. Wow. I lost you... my mind. Thank you for putting sense into me. Come on, man. Let us mayo. know your... Um, uh, top three sauces in the comments I, below. First of all, if you're going to put brown sauce in the comments, just don't even comment, please, man. I don't yeah. want to hear your opinion. I know, but we do love HP sauce, don't we? We love to work, work with, with you. you. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Never is that the plaque? Who wants to give? Wait, wait. Right now, we're going to keep this on camera. Yeah. Oh, Lawrence. wait. Is that the plaque? Lawrence has just dropped. Wait, you, man, you, you lot collected the plaque for the DZ. <laughs> Cold, By the way, we, we didn't even know this arrived. Obviously, we touched 100k maybe on the first day, but like, shout out to you, Lux, that made that happen. But we already received the 100k plaque. Let me read this. Oh my god, because and, and it's not from Susan. I always, I always get these sent to my mom's house, oh! so I don't even know what they say. Yeah, cold. <laughs> yeah, that's cold. That's cold. That's cold. <laughs> we got, hey, for people that are listening, we received the 100k plaque. The one that you get on YouTube. Um, and hopefully in the near future, we'll get that one million one. But we're going to have to incorporate it into the wall behind in, into somewhere. Into the set somewhere, yeah. Maybe underneath me, because that was the reason we got to this place. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we can maybe give like... And then when the one million comes up, the one million goes under me, then I'll give, I'll give Philly the 100k. No <laughs> joke, man. Yeah. For now, though, I'm going to hold it here, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, Let me move it out, though. Come I shout out my brother Neil Mohan, though. You know what I met him? Did you, yeah? Well, I met no more. I met, I met Do you no remember CEO. your first subscriber? Nope. Your hundredth? Yep. Or your thousandth yep. subscriber? Yeah. Chances are you do. We don't. And we know that you definitely remember your hundredth thousand. Your fans may have found you searching YouTube, learned about you for a friend, or maybe showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came to your channel, your audience stayed there. Numbers increased because of you and yeah, the community. Brother, we, we, I can't, can't you like told that. me to read yeah, it. It's just it's too long, man. <laughs> so wanna, Chuck's just there's people the driving right now hands. saying, shut up, Philly. <laughs> Can you just talk to us about another situation? Yeah, cold though. Thank you so much for people that are subscribed. Please, let's try and hit the subscriber button. I, I, we don't really do sub pushes, but yeah, yeah. If you are watching, then please subscribe. If you this are my driving, third ever plaque. If you're driving, then please don't don't go on your phone and subscribe. It's not that serious. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe and you must have over five plaques. Think about we've got it. Beta squad. squad. We've got is my channel. on ten mil? No, I wish we are like. I keep pushing. Eight. San Bernardo. Are um, you? So are you? What about you? Yeah. I'm no, you're about. not. <laughs> yeah. I think you barely have one. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> we're going to move on because this isn't about subscriber. Um, what's the word? I don't know what the word is, but <laughs> yeah, subscriber shaming. There we go. Um, I want to have like an actual debate with you though, because I want to get your point of view on things. So, Philly, let me just ask you a random question. Yeah. Um, have you felt people change up on you since you've made a bit of moolah? Oh, crazy you said this. Um... Because I saw a clip of Kai Sinat recently on TikTok um, and a clip of John Obi Mikel. And I really felt that I could, um, I felt in common with what they were saying. Like, yeah. I really, uh, there, were like, some, there were some points yeah, that really like, hit home. Have you lost any friends uh, during this? Oh, it's too, you know me, I can't, it's hard for me to talk about. So yes, yeah. But there's just some, I, I blame myself. I blame myself because sometimes I give people too much. It gets to the point where they just expect and they start becoming ungrateful. Yes, yes. And like people will ask for dumb things. Like I got some family members in Colombia. A man will ask me for a PlayStation rather than pay off six months of rent. Yeah. Like you, your, your head's not in the right place, bro. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, And then I've done stuff for friends that they've just gone, oh, thank you. And I'm just like, what? Like I've just... Done the matic. No, the matic. Yeah, but then let me flip it on you now. Is it your fault for expecting, you know when you give somebody something for the sake of giving somebody something, I think you should give that, which is a, it's great, but I feel like you should give them out of the kind of your heart and not really expect anything. You know what I no, mean? No, I expect a thank you. Yeah, I hear it. How the fuck are we, oh, if we can't yous? expect thank yous in oh, life, you're not, you're then, not getting thank yous? No. Oh, that's fucking crazy. Though. Like it will be, it will be stuff like, oh man, I knew you'd do something like this or oh, no way, man. Like, brother, say the word. <laughs> and like the things that I've done for people are, it's so mad. Cause I just don't want to make no one feel mad. That's why I'm just trying to creep out yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But you've asked, but yeah, bro, I've like, 
done some massive things, bro. Mm. Like for people, I'm talking like life changing things. Mm. And their response, the first response hasn't been thank you. And that is heartbreaking. Like how, do you, how do you see that people can show gratitude without saying thank you? No, not for me. Fair enough. I just want to hear the words, thank, thank you. you. Okay. And you know, I'm an emotional guy. Come give me a hug, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've yeah. just done something life changing yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hug me and say thank you, bro. That's fine. You're not asking for I'm much. I'm not a liar, no, no, bro. No, you're not, you're not. So if I ask you for 10 grand, you want to give it to me? Um, No. You're gone. No, but if I, if I genuinely get into a hole. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks, you've, you've had me at my darkest times, you yeah, get me? Yeah. But yeah, I'm done, bro. Okay. Yeah, man. I've, I've done my times of like helping and just not received what I wanted back, which was just gratitude. Do you get what I'm saying? Which is completely fine. I think that's fair to be yeah. fair. How about you? Have you felt like that? Yeah, I feel like um, I've actually lost friendships. Uh, I've got family members that, not not my direct family, by the way, not my sisters and my brother and my mom and dad. I feel like they, they I'm forever in debt to them, but I feel like there's obviously external people and, and friends that are, our relationships have become purely transactional, where it's like the message will be, won't even be how you doing. It'll just be like, I'm in a hole. Can you help me? Um, and it's kind of like, for me, it's like, I've actually, there's people that I've had been friends with for X amount of years that we used to keep in contact with each other. We used to see each other all the time. And now because I've done all right for myself by the grace of God, that now they expect like for me to help them mm. and maybe even lie to me in terms of, yeah, I'll give you back the money this day. And it's like, it comes to this day and you've completely forgot about me. So it's like, for me, it's like, Bro, don't lie to me, man. If you if you knew you couldn't pay just it keep back, it about- just say to me, I need the money. Like, mm. and it's like, genuinely now, I feel like I'm just kind of that that vessel that helps out friends and families, but don't actually get anything back from them in terms of just but checking then, on how my mental well being is. But, yeah, and yeah, it's like, yeah. like for me, it's like I, I but God I, chose I, you, you know that, isn't it? I, and that's the reason. Yeah, yeah. God I'm, chose I'm, you for I'm a reason to bro, be in the position. He knows that you you see me. I'm my sister said to me, "You're better off being in the situa- in the position where you can give and not in the position where you have to ask." You know what I mean? Because wallah al I personally, my pride wouldn't let me ask somebody for money. Like, I couldn't get how down I was, bro. You know what I mean? But the, God knows that. And he's putting me in, in this position where I can help out family and friends. Um, and like I said, again, bro, I'm more than happy to help out my direct family. But I feel like other people that just expect help because you've done well in life is very unfair. Very unfair, man. Yeah. And it's like, you know what I mean? Well, like I said, when a friend becomes transactional where you used to be friends on a day-to-day basis, but now all it's become is, can you help me with this? Can you help me with this? Can yeah. you help me with this? And it's like, how often you're asking mm. and you're also promising to pay it back and you don't pay it back and you don't ever message me. And it's just, it's just crazy, man. Mm. And then the one time I say no is when you want to tell everyone, wow, he's changed. It, it's, it's crazy what's expected of somebody once they do mm. all right in life. So I, I don't know. It's very upsetting, man. I've lost some friends and I've lost some, I've lost some family. I wouldn't say I've lost some friends, but... If- no, but when I say I lost, because in my head, I've lost you. Like, we can still be in contact, but I don't really take... I don't take you as serious as I used to. And that's what I mean. You know, once you lose respect for somebody, it's kind of like, yeah. you're kind of done with that person anyway. Yeah. So I feel like I have. Fart in it. It's mad, bro. It's mad, but alhamdulillah for being in the position we are right now, because I know for a fact I wouldn't be... I wouldn't want the shoe to be on the other foot, man. Because I also think sometimes, would that person help me if I was down and out? Oh my God, I always think that. And my answer is always no. <laughs> Mental. Not the way I, you know me differently. The way I help people. I yeah, think, you do too much though. That's I don't your, think, I think no one problem. would help me the way I help them. No, 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 no but, that, but no, they wouldn't. No, but They because, wouldn't, innit? Because it's crazy what you do for some people. I think it's over excessive in my opinion, genuinely. You reckon? Yeah, I think you do too much. But that's what my heart tells me to do. So it's not like I'm doing it for an an ego trip. Your heart needs counselling. That's what I think. I think you need to speak to someone and say, slap me because I'm doing too much. Oh, no, man. I feel like God's giving me this heart for a reason. Alhamdulillah, man. Alhamdulillah. But you know, I want to move to Philly. I want to move on to the girls' favourite subjects. Not nowadays, but just in general, in the recent, in the past. Yeah. And even in the future. X. Yeah. There's some hilarious ones. Yeah. So I think what we're going to be doing is reading uh, girls like number one X and we're going to be seeing if we agree with it or disagree with it. Yeah. yeah. But so, what, what are we going to start off with? Look, are we going to start off with the silly ones or the harsh ones? The silly ones. Yeah. Because that me, first one is hilarious. So girls, let us know as well in the comments if you agree with this. One of the top options was chasing a ping pong ball. <laughs> For me, this is maniac level. Of of X no, this is crazy. So we're playing ping pong. <clears throat> I'm le- I'm meant to let the ball just roll away. Yeah. So what I do? Make a new ball, 
But I think, come on now, girls. I understand you've got some mixed up, a bit crazy, but this is ridiculous now. <laughs> like singing the wrong lyrics. Okay, this one I can get with a little. Yeah, bit. yeah, yeah. Why are you forcing it? Yeah. Do you know, if I think that you're, you're lacking some 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 cells up there if you're there just recording yourself singing. It's a completely different song. Like you're listening to Drake. Um, what song do we say? Uh, controller. You listen to Drake Controller. And you're doing the lyrics of Justin Bieber, baby. It's like, yeah, come on crazy, now. Let's, crazy, let's crazy. Let's now have some type of, you know what I mean? Like, this is so stupid. So I completely understand that one. I don't like, I can't lie to you. When he jumbles up his words and then says, bleh, can't talk today. <laughs> I've never heard that one though. Well, have you been that guy? Be honest, is that where you laugh like that? I've done that before. Is it? Yeah. I, bleh, I can't talk today. Like, can't even talk today. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, you run that one. Yeah. Oh, you're an ick. How am I an egg? Oh my How? God. My brother Icky. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Yo, I think for me, let me now defend myself. I think that shows that they've got so much words in my head that it's hard to kind of pick one. Mm. I think, you know, them people that have limited vocab that use the same effing words every day. I think that's a nick. How about you going and Yeah? Walking angry in flip flops. <laughs> Why can't you be? So if I'm in Ghana, <laughs> yeah. where it's hot out. Yeah. I'm not allowed to be angry if I got my flops no, that's on. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely stupid. No, these are amazing though. Okay, now we've got the harsh ones, which is smelling bad, being an ick. Facts. Absolutely fair. Uh, pretending to be more knowledgeable about something than they actually are. Oh, I agree with this one so much. What, you know you... people that feel like they can chime into every conversation. <laughs> like you, you, you bring it to the Chinese revolution and then they want to talk about it and then you want to talk about Roman Empire and then... And it's like, you don't have to pretend like you know everything, yeah, you know, facts. with your limited knowledge that you learned on Google maybe once. Yeah. It's like, oh, I saw TikTok on that. You know, uh, and you start just fo false. Plus, just you plus you always get found out. That in the well. end, you're just better off sticking to what you do know, you know which is the A you, and the B. Shall I tell you who, who is, no, you know, I'm not going to do that on, 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 big, on big podcasts because I know there's people, I have friends that do this. Who? But I'm not going to do it. No, no, I'm not going to do it. Who, man? Uh, shout out to Ilias on this one because you see Ilias, knowledgeable about something that they actually aren't. Yeah, that's Ilias is that right Ilz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to get involved in every conversation. All right, but I love you though, Broski. Uh, being overbearing and rude. Eh, no, but that's just standard though. That one's standard. That one's standard. That one yeah. don't excite me. That that's not even worth a talking point. Double texting. No, is that an ick? You do, you do it a lot. Oh my god, you're Mister Double Texter. No, look, bro. Oh my god, you don't even call him Phil anymore. Call him Fexter. Look, bro, I'm bad. He's, double te he's a double texter. I can't like look, it. Look, look. Oh my God. Just leave her alone. She doesn't want to reply for you. Bad, didn't it? No, oh, she replies. Don't no, do no, that. No, 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 she no, no. <laughs> Guys, as the audio listeners, Philly's actually showing me his phone right now and he's showing me a, a text between him and some girl. He's dropping paragraphs. He's dropping one word out. <laughs> it's mad not, at him. She's not. It's mad at him, man. He's I, I free my brother from the gulag, man. <laughs> Shout out to Philly. Uh, having bad teeth. Teeth. Yeah, I agree with I that agree one. With that. I, I agree with that. that one. Being rude to a waiter, I agree with that Massively. wholeheartedly. I agree Ma with that wholeheartedly. Mm, but how about if the waiter's rude too? That's different. Like I was on a plane the other day, yeah? And you know, like... Go on, where are you off to? In business. Um, Crazy, where, <laughs> where are you going, where are you going, where are you going? <laughs> yeah, you know, like when they take your order, they go, oh, okay, have you looked at the menu? What do yeah, you want to eat? Yeah. Cool, so the woman's come, and then when other woman's come over, I'm doing a face right now, audio listeners, and she's gone, you're taking the artist too early. Bro, do you know how bad I felt for the other woman taking my order? Uh, I've gone, oh, don't worry, don't worry. So at that point, even though I wasn't, I would have been rude to that woman. I, I, I wish I said to her and defended that other woman and gone, you are so rude. Yeah. Do, you know, do you know how rude that is to speak yeah, to her yeah. like that in front of people? Like that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I feel like there's times where you actually can be rude to some people. That woman was so disrespectful. The fact that I've told that story on this podcast shows how sorry yeah, I felt really for that woman. You, yeah. We're gonna um, go, we're gonna, living we're gonna, in a mess. Yeah, we're going to go through mm, them pretty this, quickly. Living in a mess, you, you tramp, sort yourself No, out. but sometimes me and you live in a mess. Nope. Yeah, well, you, I'm a tramp at that time then. Okay, fair enough. When I say a mess, I feel like a mess is different to like... Being unorganized. Yeah, like you know, <laughs> having like a couple shirts on the floor compared to having now your a pizza box cup. from four days ago, yeah, okay, dirty okay. cups and that's disgusting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, having dirty fingernails. Let me see your joints right now, Philly. Dirty. Fucking hell, it's black tough. No, I black think he's tough been is crazy, scratching it. He's been scratching the bottom of a scrotum, yeah. the ball bags. Oh, so and that's yeah, disgusting bastard. Sort them out, man. Yeah, his thing's black tough. But um, if you guys see Philly's toes, show him love, man. I can't like one of the worst toes. <laughs> no, please put the clip of my feet in it. Yeah, have you got? I, have you got the? I've got, I've got the video. Yeah, I got the. Yeah, clips. put the feet his on my feet clip in it. Like he's been just. <laughs> 
crawling on dirt. No, but this is an off day though on the nails though. See, yeah, your nails are horrible, man. Yeah, you won't catch me like this tomorrow. Shout out to you with your horror nails. Being too clingy, talking too loud. Well, you don't like Philly then. Yeah, Stop you talking about Philly, man. Yeah. Well, that's that's some of the X we have here. Let us know in the comments down wait, below. Wait, wait, wait. Good, good day in X. Too little information and insight into their personality. 24 per this percentage. This is making me sick. <laughs> You're the first one. Read it. Read out, Philly. Being too flirtatious and too sexual too quickly. So why am I reading? Why am I reading that? <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait! All right, this is gonna be the last little segment here. Uh -huh. Lawrence, can you please tell us? You got a little thing for us, isn't it? Yeah. So what are you saying? You got to survive. You can only get one thing for free for the rest of your life. All right. Flights. Yeah. Food. Yeah. Petrol. Yeah. Hotels. Yeah. Clothes. Yep. Yeah. Shoes. So you hear that, Philly? Yeah, think, you know, think, one thing permanently. Give it good thought. Because already top of my head, I'm thinking, wow, if I was to save, if I was to get petrol free forever, I'll just put that in containers and sh sell that. <laughs> fair enough. Am I lying though? No. Yeah, fair enough. But then enough. I'm also thinking flights. So you're, gonna be, you're, you're gonna become an Arab, basically. <laughs> but I'm also thinking flights, unlimited memories with my Let me hear yours you got first. Flights for you. Ah. Compared Off the to, cuff, what what is it that obviously now top two for me would be flights and petrol. Now flights wouldn't maybe be the top of my list because of the fact what do we do? We work with so many brands and stuff. What does that entail? It means that they all book flights for you nonstop. When was the last time you paid for your own flight? Australia. Yeah. But since Australia, how many flights have you been on? About ten. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so technically you don't need to save money on flights when these lot are all booking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get it? And just because it's, you know what I'm trying to say? Plus, just because you're saving money on your flight, you still book your flight plus whoever's coming with you anyway. Yeah. Whereas petrol for me, based off my emissions, CO2 emissions, don't do, I, I don't worry, I do stuff for the, for the, for the, I mean, the environment and, and the community. But I'm, I'm spending maybe 200 quid every four days, four or five days. Wow, you must have a four litre. Can't say what I have. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so deep in that yeah. little wind up. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't even technically I'll be saving more money through gas. No, I think anyway. Yeah. And plus like flights. I don't I don't fly out that what much. What was the other one? Food and clothes as well. Food, clothes, uh That was it. And, and shoes. shoes. Yeah, shoes would bottom of my list. I don't know, I like shoes anyway. At least you wear sliders anyway. I'm thinking investments. Yeah, I'm on the petty thing, man. Petrol in it. Don't even need it for my car. I think gas makes I'm no sense. Flipping it. I'm gonna grab it and sell to Saudi. No. So yo, you man, I'm the new plug. Literally. <laughs> That makes sense. Barrels it? of it. <laughs> just like the Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> it's going and barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just sending it overseas. Hey, man, I got the new joints. 95.5. Yeah, this is Shellers. Unleaded. Yeah. What? Petrol. Oh, let us know what you would pick what in would the you comments do? below. What would you do? Yeah, in the comments down below, man. I think for me, I'd choose petrol. Yeah, yeah I think I'd choose petrol as well. And not, That's not a commodity. Yeah, but you thought saving money. I thought making money. Yeah, I'm thinking about saving. Yeah. There you go. We have different mindsets. But then you originally thought flights. So shush. No, I didn't. Well, lie he did. Off camera, so lie he didn't. No, Thank you very much. I didn't. Listen, he's a liar. Um, well, that won't make the edit anyway. So I guess they will you, never, never, no, never they won't. know. Lawrence is going to keep that in there for me because he loves me. If we could get clothes and shoes for free, then I'll get, we can just start a charity and start giving away free clothes and free instead of making money. And that's why for me, after reflection, I realized that I'm going to decide to keep clothes and then philly's gonna still go with this with this gas yeah he because all the himself. money i make i'm giving to organizations building schools um mosque churches everything for the community that's a conflict that of interest building for two different religions yeah but i'm <laughs> just joking <laughs> it's a joke it's a joke oh, man. but me personally i think because i care so much about the community i'm gonna go for clothes so i can give it out to everybody and everyone can have clothes on their back. Whereas him with his greedy self wants I'm all the money in the petrol. world. No, and that's so the end of the video. So thank you so much help guys. the lower communities no. and- You I forgot where you're from, man. I won't keep one penny. Your views and are beautiful. And it's all gonna go to them. You live in a penthouse. Petrol and clothes for me. And clothes. Yeah, they're, they're, they're top of the food chain. Yeah. Obviously flights would be lit, but then yeah, I can pay for that as well, man. It's not a problem, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Hotels? You know, he just pop with a John in the bus yeah, and you're thinking, like, where can I go? Oh. <laughs> well, I know no, what you're talking I've about. been there. <laughs> like, I'm just in the park, lips in, got the raging horn. Just need somewhere to lay down with it. 
Nowhere. Ain't got a pot to piss in at the time. Maybe you have to go? Yard. I said, you go to your crib? No, home. See you later, baby. See you uh, another you're time. Not just parking it. All right, well, thank you so much for listening, guys. And if you're watching, make sure you subscribe. We really want to hit uh, 423k subscribers. That's always been a favorite number of mine. Yeah. Uh, and when we do that, I think I might cry. Yeah, so, mine's always been 428. Fair play, fair play, fair play. Uh, and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let us know uh, who you want to see, what next guest. This is the first pod that me and you have done since episode one. Yeah, I love it. Which is very cool. And I liked it. I really enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, and I think it was a good reminder. Like, this is, we, we do love a guest on this show, but we don't always need a guest. Yeah, and also, very importantly, thank you so much for this. By the way, the audio listening is, I'm holding the 100K plaque. This means a lot to me, and I'm actually getting very emotional just looking at it. For real, thank you guys so much, man. It's, it's like a... It shows our hard work and it also shows the support you've given us. Anyway, with that being said, guys, nope. bye-bye. To end the podcast. Free, Free Palestine. Palestine, baby. We're going to say it to the day we die. Love. Appreciate you guys.